So good evening to you stretch and turn class. Let's start by rolling your shoulders forwards and back and kind of like squeezing your shoulder blades back and kind of get rid of any tension around your shoulders. Don't know about you, but my neck has really bothered me all day today. So I'll be doing some stretches there to help you and myself. Big arm circles up round really stretch up high towards the ceiling and out to the side breathing in stretch and out to the side one more breathe in and really stretch let's go into a gentle spinal twist taking the arms out beside you looking left to right <clears throat> Beautiful. And then start shaking your hands, air drying them. Throughout the lesson, draw your belly button in, hold it in, and looking forward, we're going to now just kind of place our fingertips on our shoulders and rotating the elbows forwards and back. <clears throat> and then from here, we're going to gently place the hands by your side and you're just gonna look left to right. And feel free, like me, to just massage if there is a little area of tension around your neck or shoulders. Wonderful, just spend a few moments just to not Kind of uh, get rid of any knots. Well done. And then just kind of freestyle and move the head however you like because we don't realise just how much tension we hold around the neck and shoulders even if we're like on the computer. Wonderful. Let's go back into a spinal twist. And then gently step your feet more than hip width apart. Place your hands on your hips and with your hips circle forwards and back, doing like a little circle, rotating. Wonderful. And then from here, balance on one leg and let's just loosen that knee before we swing the leg. And then swing the leg forwards and back. And then take that leg out to the side, standing nice and tall. And then let's try and hold that leg out to the side feeling that working along the leg and then gently down hip flexors up and over lovely and then rotate your ankle and your wrist and then let's go to the other side stand nice and tall just the knee and then swing the leg forwards and back <clears throat> And then let's take that leg across, out to the side. This really gets our balance. Let's take that leg out to the side, keep it raised. And then gently come on down, up and over. <clears throat> and then let's rotate our ankles and our wrists. <clears throat> And then let's go on to our breath. So you're gonna come down, bend your knees, scoop up your breath, and then breathe in. Hold your breath by placing your palms together, and exhale and let go of anything you don't need so far. Breathing in, hold that breath, and exhale through your mouth. Breathing in, all the goodness, love, peace, blessings, goodness, 
hold and then exhale out any stress, tension, anxiety. Breathing in, hold and exhale. As we exhale, we're gonna go into mountain pose. You're going to walk your feet closer together. You're gonna raise and spread your toes before you place them down on your mat. Raise your calf muscles, strong quads, really lengthening your spine by standing nice and tall. Your shoulders are down and back and you want to kind of imagine you're reaching your hands down you're going to raise your chin just a little. Your gaze is either to the floor or on the mat. You choose. <clears throat> we're going to do an internal body scan just to see how we're checking in, how our muscles are feeling today. So starting from your head, work your way down towards your feet. And once you get to your feet, see if you're evenly balanced, evenly distributed in body weight. So let's just take a moment, you work your way down from the head and then down the neck. For me personally, I know my neck is bothering me today. So I'm being mindful and breathing my own love to it. So be mindful of your own body. working your way all the way down to the soles of your feet. And here you want to get an even distribution of body weight. So feel free to gently move forwards, back, left or right, just to notice if you are evenly distributed, because that's the best way to see and feel. And when you are evenly distributed, lengthen that spine even more, stand nice and tall, this is a great one for posture. Keeping your navel in, belly button in. Keep breathing and then relax. Gently blinking your eyelids open. Rotate <clears throat> your wrists and your ankle. We're gonna go on to the sun salutation. Softness in the knees, take a beautiful in-breath in as your hands go out to the side. A little back bend if you desire before you come down and you bend in half. You're looking at your legs, body weight is forward without raising the heel. Remember to bend your knees if you've got tightness in the hamstring. Otherwise, keep them straight. Alternatively, you can bend and straighten your legs. It's entirely up to you, but ultimately the full fold, you're enjoying that nice stretch at the back of the legs. This is brilliant stretch for runners and cyclists. And relax. Gently bend the knees, come up into half fold. Taking the hands out to the side again, body weight forward, airplane arms. Lovely. From here, you're gonna take your hands down into plank. We're going to alternate between a full plank and a three quarter plank. So come down onto your knees for a three quarter plank. Tilt your pelvis under, and this in turn, so your imaginary tailbone is tucked under. It's not imaginary actually, it's an imaginary tail. <clears throat> hold that tucked under and now you should really feel your abdominal muscles being activated here we're going to keep that position but you're going to curl your toes under and come up into plank so staying in plank for a few seconds again keeping your tailbone tucked under and then rest your knees down into three quarter Try not to round your back. Raise yourself up into plank. And then down into a three quarter. Well done, Katie. Looking forward, plank. 
and then down into a three quarter. We're going to do one more plank and hold it for a little longer than before. And then you're going to come down into three quarter plank and start taking your body weight back to child's pose, but really extend your fingers forward to stretch your back muscles and really feel that stretch. So take your hands as forward as you can. Imagine somebody has hold of your hand and is stretching and pulling you forward, but your body weight, you're taking that back. So your hips is sitting back and your hands are stretched out forward. And just enjoy this stretch here. You can remain still or you can gently sway side to side. It all depends how your back is feeling. So do listen to your body and move how it feels good for you. And really stretch, really exaggerate and really take those hands in front, hips go back and stretch. Feel free to rest your forehead on the mat as well if you wish. Stay here a few more seconds. And then gently, you're traveling forward for Cobra. Now, if you've got back pain, stay down on your forearm. Whereas if you are okay with your back, then you can come all the way up, <clears throat> extending your hands, lowering those hips. Now try to extend away your shoulders from your ears. So try to not kind of have your neck in like a turtle. Extend that neck out. And then if you want to work a bit more around your abs and your oblique, start looking over your shoulder, <clears throat> moving your body slightly side to side and start looking down towards your feet. Well done. And really feel that stretch in your abdominal muscles as you move the body from left to right and you can really feel that stretch. And try to relax the body as well. Easier said than done. Then gently take that body weight all the way back to child's pose. And this time, <clears throat> you're going to take your time between child's pose and cobra. So in your own time, just go back and forth, but just do make sure that you are flowing with your breath. That's it, Katie. Breathing in, beautiful as you come forward, taking your time and then breathing out as you go back. And just enjoy exploring the body, your own body, and noticing what is good for you. Well done, Elaine. Feel those abdominals, tummy muscles, toning and shrinking as you like. Breathe, don't hold the breath. The breath is so beautiful when you synchronize it with the movement. Well done. We're gently going to make our way back into child's pose, but starting to curl our toes under as we're going to get ready to raise the hips up towards the ceiling. So spread your fingers nice and wide and raise those hips up and back. Bend one knee and stretch out the other leg. See if your heel touches the floor. Don't stress if it doesn't. It will come over time. And here just spend a bit of moment with your body. Body weight is back towards the hips. So there's no body weight over the hands. Bend one knee, stretch out the other leg and really feel that stretch. Hips up and back. 
Beautiful. Feel those stretch. Feel that stretch. Enjoy. And then bend your knees. Look forward. Walk, step or jump to the front. Pause a minute before you come up into half fold. Aeroplane arms. So really try and keep your shoulders down and back. Then fold in half and see if your head can come closer to your knees. Again, try and keep that body weight forward to your toes without raising the heel. And notice that beautiful stretch at the back of the legs. Gently bend the knees and come all the way up to standing. And down. Beautiful. <coughs> Sorry. And again, beautiful in-breath. And breathe out as you fold in half. Come on up into half fold, aeroplane. And then come on down into plank, step or jump. Beautiful. In plank, we're going to stay in plank a moment. Resting our knees to go into a three-quarter plank to activate and work your abdominal muscles more. And then coming up into plank. A few seconds here. Then down into a three-quarter plank. Keeping your abs nice and strong. And then plank position. I'm going to make this a little chair different. Three quarter plank, last time. And then from a three quarter plank, you're going to go into plank and go into a side plank. So move your hand so you can go into side plank, making sure that your wrist is a straight line before you raise the hand and then just stay here for a moment before you turn. Nice and controlled side plank. Try and keep your hips up. And again, this is a great one for your abdominals. That's it. Love. One more, last time. Excellent. And then come down into a three-quarter plank before you take that body weight back into co um, child's pose. And again, you have a choice this time. Stretch your hands out. Have your hands underneath your forehead or take your hand towards your feet and relax a moment. Taking some nice breaths in, allowing your shoulders just to relax. Lovely, we're going to go into Cobra. And then you're going to alternate between Cobra and Child's Pose. So take your time as you go between one and the other. Enjoy the stretch, breathing out and then breathing in. Looking to the side if you want to. Lovely. Let's all meet in child's pose to get ready to go up into down face. Stomach muscles always tight. Into down face, bend one knee and then the other. For those that want to work a little harder, you can raise your left leg as we do like a swinging mountain climber. For those that don't want to, they can just stay here in down face. Otherwise, come and join me. Raise that left leg up towards the ceiling, stretch out and then mountain pose as you take that left knee down towards the centre and then push up. 
down towards the centre and up. Three more. Plank and then down face. Let's go. One more. Five in total on each side. Beautiful. And then place your feet on the mat. Rest your knees for a moment. Let's rearrange my top. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. <clears throat> so let's spread the fingers, curl your toes under, up with the hips. Stretch out your left leg, raise that right leg up and back. Then bend that right knee, travel forward, hover, push back. Move forward into plank and then up into down face. Keep going. Five in total. Don't hold your breath. And relax. Beautiful. Staying down with your feet before you then rest your knees. And take that body weight off your hands. Wonderful. Well done, Katie. So next, if you like that, we're going to do something similar. But this time, you're going to take your left knee over towards your right arm. So you're adding a twist. Again, if it's too hard, just stay in down phase. That's the easiest thing. And if you're like, no, nah, this isn't for me, child's pose. Uh, when I see you in child's pose, I know you're like, yeah, I don't think so. But that's fine if it's not for today. Otherwise, come and join me, gorgeous. So, let's straighten that left leg up and back. Start bending that left knee, travel forward into plank and then add a twist. Left knee touches right arm before you go up again. So you come down, twist, and up. Five in total. Down, twist, and up. Keep going. One more. Once you've done that, place your feet on the mat. Relax a moment before you then put your knees down. Take that body weight back. Well done, Elaine. Well done, Katie. Well done, Simona. Same again on the other side. Before we go there, give your wrists a bit of TLC, a little massage. <clears throat> Let's go, spread, the, spread those fingers, raise the he hips, push back. Right leg up and come down into plank, twist, touch, before you go up. Let's go. Take your time. Last one. And then gently come on down. Pause with your feet on the ground and then rest your knees. <sighs> That's it. Have some water if you need it. Well done. Okay, next we'll be doing the same. Down face, but this time I'd like you to swing the leg through and plant it in between your hands so your left foot is going to be in the middle are you ready elaine's like hmm don't know just swing the leg if you don't want to swing it come down step it forward that's absolutely fine let's go raise your hips lift that left leg then as you swing it through plant it in the middle that's it, you've done it. So your left leg, foot 
is in the middle between your hands. Your left ankle is in a straight line with your knee. Your right leg is straight behind you. Try and get that heel to push back to keep your leg straight. If it's too much to stay in this position, you can rest your right knee down on the mat. Otherwise, keep it up. I prefer to create a fist with my right hand as I gently start twisting my body by taking the left hand up towards the ceiling. That's it. And then gently come on down. So your left leg is in front. Your left hand is going to go past the outside of the left leg and up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. And down again. One more. So allow your left fingertips to just stroke your calf muscle before it goes up towards the ceiling nice and elegantly and then beautifully slowly down. Lovely. From here we're all going to rest our right knee down on the mat. Place your foot, your right foot down so it's more comfortable. All of our body weight is going to go back so we can start doing some hamstring stretches. So here you can freestyle, you can move forwards and back, you can sit all the way back, you can hold on to your toes. I don't mind what you do as long as you enjoy that nice stretch at the back of the legs. So stretch these calf muscles, quads. You can even hold on to your foot as long as you stretch and feel that. Lovely. Now, we're just going to take this left foot back. So both knees are bent. And then we're gonna start by taking the hips back up towards the ceiling, curl your toes under, raise the hips, <clears throat> straighten that left leg Raise that right leg and same again. Swing it through. Beautiful. Make sure that left heel keeps pointing back if you want to keep that leg straight. And also make sure that your feet are hip width apart. L rest your left knee if it's too much. Otherwise, I like to do a fist with my left hand. My right fingers are going to go on the outside of my right calf muscles as I twist my body and point up towards the ceiling, pausing here for a few seconds before I then slowly glide my hand down past my calf. And twisting again up towards the ceiling before I gently come on down and then one more twist up and then gently come on down I'm going to rest my right knee onto the mat taking my body weight back so I'm going to start stretching <clears throat> my hamstrings and calf muscles on my right leg so feel free to really stretch how you like this right leg. Move forwards and back if you want to. Just really put your full attention on this leg that you're working out and really stretch it how you like it. And of course with the stretching goes the breath. So don't hold on to the breath. Really work with the breath. Breathe out as you're going into that stretch and enjoy. Take that foot back and sit back. This time we're going to stretch a little bit. We're not going to be here too long. Your soles of your feet. So you're going to curl your toes under and if your body feet permits, you're just going to take that body weight slowly back and if this stretch is too much then obviously don't go there but just 
kind of stretch a little bit so you should feel the soles of your feet stretching your feet might like nah that's not for me certainly my husband doesn't like this one so but see what you think if you've done it good if not don't worry then come forward and rotate your ankles by keeping your feet up off the ground then place your feet on the mat and then let's freestyle in tabletop moving your body like an animal or kitten forwards back side to side wonderful then we're going to start concentrating a bit more on the tummy i can see a lane going ting lovely so here belly button is drawn in as much as you can and we're going to have your hands either flat or a fist and curl your toes under before we're going to do anything we're just going to focus our attention on the pelvic floor muscles okay so clench that area as though you need the toilet for both so really hold that keep your body straight looking straight down clenching that area hold it then if you curl if you have curled your toes under and you want to work a little harder raise the knees just slightly off the mat but don't have your knees too far away have them right underneath your hip or a little closer in towards your tummy to give you a bit better balance draw your navel in pelvic floor muscles tight we're on this imaginary motorway nowhere to go off we're stuck hold it hold it a few more seconds here's a service station coming up keep going and then we're taking the exit so slowly lower yourself down and relax hopefully you enjoyed that little trip guess what we're on the motorway again so get ready pelvic floor muscles clenched raise your knees off the mat if you want to hold that tight you're going to work a little harder if you wish by raising one leg at a time up towards the ceiling so I'm including a donkey kick but nice and slowly you don't have to do this if it's too hard one more and then slowly come on down as we leave for the service station beautiful we're going to do one more this time fire hydrant so pelvic floor muscles clenched tilt your pelvis under stay with your knees on the mat or lift them stay here and then let's begin fire hydrant one side other side slowly from one to the other no need to rush well done one more on each side and then come on down and relax sitting back well done we're going to move the feet out of the way and you're going to come down to sitting nice and steady <clears throat> so with the sitting if you don't like to be seated cross-legged I encourage you to sit on something to give you that little bit of extra height to make it more comfortable <clears throat> now let's take our attention to the center to our midline make sure you're nice and tall and then we're going to pretend we're outside so we're going to take our hands behind us squeeze our shoulder blades raise the chin raise the chest and just really feel a nice stretch across the chest 
looking up towards your ceiling, imagine your light is the sun, that light bulb. And open up the chest area, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then gently, you're going to keep your fingertips on the mat. You're going to round your back and you're going to gently allow your forearm to be on the mat or on the floor. Round your head down and just round your back, round your shoulders and relax. Try the legs just to relax. Try to have no tension. Lovely. We're going to sit up nice and tall and we're just going to go to the side. <clears throat> Your palms are going to come interlaced together. Well, not interlaced, just together. Then they're going to come separate and you're going to lean over to the side. One hand is going to rest on the mat. The other one is going to be over. Then you're going to come up, palms together in the centre, and then go laterally to the other. Now notice that maybe one of the legs wants to lift up. Try and keep the legs down. Palms together and to the side and stretch. Palms together. Last time as you go here. And then you're going to come to the centre. You're going to keep your palms up. You're going to round your arms. So you're going to do like a circle. Lean forward, round forward and back. So you're leaning forward, keeping your fingertips touching as you're doing a big circle. One more in, in this direction, forward, rounding and up. Once you're at the center, you're gonna pause and you're gonna go in the opposite direction and really stretch. So here you should really feel your stretch around the obliques, your lower back, your waist, one more, down, round, lovely. Keeping the hands up at the top at the end, then they're gonna come down and go back behind you as we open up the chest again and looking up towards the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And we're going to finish off by rounding our back, resting our forearm onto the mat, onto the ground. Allow the head just to come down and look, breathing gently. Wonderful. Then we're going to sit up, place your hands wherever it's comfortable for you. And we're going to finish off with three breaths and we will go, before we breathe in and out, I'd like you to think of whatever you're grateful for today. For me, I'm grateful that I'm working at home and you've joined me. That always makes my day. So that's what I will be breathing out to say thanks. So bring to mind whatever you're grateful for your husband, your partner, your children, your life, your health. Let's bring that to mind. Then take a deep breath in. Through your nose, hold it, give it love, and then breathe it out through your mouth. Two more, breathe in. It can be the same thoughts that you're grateful for or something else as you breathe out. One more, breathing in and relax as you breathe out and say thank you. So thank you from my heart to yours. Thank you very, very much for joining me today.